Hey everyone, welcome back to Alf's Mustang Garage. Um, today we're going to show you how to install a clutch setup on the back of your V8 289. And so today's example, we're starting with just everything's already off. Uh, there's no pilot bearing, so the first thing we're going to install is a pilot bearing. We have a nice rollerized roller bearing type right here. Um, this isn't like factory original, but this is a very nice upgrade to put in there. So we're just going to use this setup here to drive it in. This is just from my standard uh, seal and bearing driver kit. Okay, so once that's uh, in there all the way, it doesn't take a whole lot of effort to get that in there. We're gonna put a little bit of uh, spline lubricant in there, and that's also gonna go on our input shaft of the transmission. This comes in your clutch kit. We'll also put that on our input shaft. Okay, so now the next thing we're gonna be putting on here is our Flywheel. Okay, something to take note of. Um, you need different bolts when you go from a flex plate to a flywheel. There is that. There's a better. There's a better look at it there for you. The difference in the two. The this one. This one right here is for your uh, flywheel for your standard transmission. It's got the shoulder uh, on the bolt there. So. Okay, guys. Um, we forgot our spacer plate. That's gonna go on first. Very first thing before your uh, flywheel spacer plate has to go on. So um, I put that whole flywheel on the clutch assembly and totally forgot the spacer plate. This car, when I pulled the automatic out of it, it actually didn't have an automatic spacer plate. So uh, I just kind of naturally forgot about it. But anyways, spacer plate goes first then your flywheel, then your clutch assembly. So just definitely wanted to show you that for your conversion process. Don't forget your spacer plate. Okay, now that we have all those bolts started, now we can tighten them all down in sequence and uh, get them torqued. Okay, so our uh, flywheel is torqued on. Uh, the torque on these is 75 to 85. We went right in the middle at 80 foot-pounds. So we're now ready for a clutch disc and pressure plate. Real quick on these uh, clutch discs, um, you can't put these on wrong. So most clutch discs will be labeled. It'll tell you flywheel side. And you'll kind of know you have a problem if it's like not sitting flush on the flywheel. So this is correct. This is incorrect. This section of your clutch disc will go into the pressure plate. So, and to avoid any kind of confusion, most clutch discs that I've worked with do uh, label which side. So this says flywheel side right there. So to get this in, your clutch kit will come with an alignment tool. That's to simulate the input shaft of your transmission. So with that on there, that's going to help get our clutch disc nice and center. Get our clutch kit up in here. Get your disc in correctly. Um, this is kind of awkward, and, um, especially if you're trying to film. So we get this in here 
get our holes lined up. And then we'll align the clutch disc. But we gotta get all the bolts started first. Okay, once you have all your uh, bolts started, you can then uh, insert your alignment tool. It's gonna align it to the pilot bearings, that way your input shaft to your transmission doesn't have any problems. Um, mating to that when you are putting that in, that's the whole purpose for that. And now you can tighten these in a sequence, you know, it's kind of crisscross around and, and get them torqued. And you're gonna notice the, uh, the springs here on your clutch are gonna go in as we tighten. And that's essentially what it's doing is it's clamping uh, the disc in the disc in between the pressure plate and the flywheel. It's clamping that together. And that's what transfers your power from your engine to your transmission. Okay, now that we have all these down snug, we can torque them. Uh, factory specs is 20 foot-pounds. Okay, that's all torqued down. So you can now pull out your alignment tool and that clutch disc is not gonna move anywhere because this pressure plate is clamping that sucker tight. And so uh, this sucker is ready to go. That's how you install your clutch assembly on uh, your classic Mustangs. So um, anyways, the next thing to do is uh, install the transmission. So, okay, thanks for watching and we'll uh, catch you next time.